That did not feel normal at all. That didn't feel normal. Oh my god. <gasps> we are literally stuck on Everest. At, on the climb. Just about quarter to ten. Make it a little late entry to Animal Kingdom, but we needed kind of a day to sleep in and to take it easy. We had some. Oh, yes, we just. I forget what her name is, but we just came across. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. I've seen pictures of her online. I can't remember what they call her. But um, she's actually, I believe she's subcontracted. Like she's not an actual Disney thing. They hire her. That's what I read. So yeah, um, I feel like Animal Kingdom is definitely a park where we can kind of take it easy there's so many walking tours and there's so many things to try like and sh yeah shows and yeah I feel like every time we sit down there's a show that happens right in front of us so we really like to take it easy here I let Ian sleep in for a little bit today while I got ready uh, the one thing I will say about pu the pub century rooms I don't know if it's the same at other places but it's something I real I kind of noticed this time as opposed to like other resorts that we've stayed at is the, the walls seem to be a little thin because I can hear the neighbor's alarm go off every single time, every single morning. <laughs> I love it. I love being at Animal Kingdom. Uh, so we have fast passes for the safari in about half an hour. Well, 45 minutes. And then we have lunch at Tusker House, which we've had for breakfast, but we haven't had lunch. So that'll be fun. And we have Sana for dinner. And we also have fast passes for Expedition Everest and Flight of Passage today. So. I don't know, I think we're just gonna roam around and see what we come across. Quick note on footwear. We, well, I th I made a huge mistake right at the beginning of the vacation. We, um, I had my Keds on, but I wore those uh, no-show socks, so the back of the Keds dug into my heels, which um, normally doesn't happen, but I don't usually, I don't usually walk around this much, so I didn't think it was going to be an issue. In the past, my Keds, my Olukai sandals have been the most comfortable things to wear in the parks. And uh, so I didn't even bother bringing regular tennis shoes because they smushed my toes. Um, and Olukais and Keds, for whatever reason, don't bother my toes. So this trip, my toes haven't been a problem, but my ankles have. Oh, Ian just saw someone drop something, so he's rescuing whatever it was. But for all the story, I would bring several different pairs of shoes if you're not used to walking around. I like to switch between three different pairs of shoes at least um, while, uh, throughout the week. That's what works for me. Just found Scrooge McDuck, McDuck, so we are going to meet him. I don't think I've ever seen him before, but might be just things I'm not informed about. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there she is. Hi, Nancy. A wild, a wild, a wild Nancy has appeared once again. I know. <laughs> 
and last year I, I went on it and the queue doesn't give you any kind of like idea of the ridiculousness that it's gonna be. Yeah. Out. I know it's a little I remember being a little rough. All right. Tell the travelers, place all loose items in the Dinosaur wasn't as rough as I remembered it, but I, after all these rides this week, I think my chiropractor might be mad at me. We're headed to our safari. Bye bye. Where are you going? I'm going to the Cali River Rapids, and then I want to do the Maharaja Jungle Trek. I want to see the tigers. All right, well, we'll check in with you later. Alrighty. Bye. bye. I love this area. It has a lot of the random entertainment like the dance parties and people playing different types of instruments and they have the bar right there so you can grab a drink and just kind of enjoy the, um, the entertainment that they have throughout the day and night now which is awesome because I always wish that this park was open later and now it is and last time we were here we got to enjoy it at night and I loved it. I love that I got to spend a whole day here. But these African wild dogs are very vicious. As cute and cuddly as they may look, they're actually some of the most successful hunters here in Africa, catching over 90% of what they hunt. They are better hunters than lions and cheetahs. This one's having a nice little snack here. Now, speaking of this one having a nice snack, giraffe eat for 20 hours of their day. <laughs> Just like me too, don't worry. Now, it looks like some white bearded wildebeest out here. You might recognize these as the animals that chased after Mufasa and Simba in the Lion King. And then the African elephant over here on the right, which I can tell is an African elephant just by looking at the ears. So, so elephants actually have pretty sensitive skin and they can get sunburns just like you and I. So they've actually been known to roll around in mud or throw some dirt and mud onto their back with their trunks, almost like a natural sunblock. So they are a lot larger than a black rhino. They get to be about 5,000 pounds. Unfortunately, you notice there they have those two horns. It is the exact same makeup as the black rhinos. So again, keratin. So they're also poached for those. Paul, what I assumed was blocking the way as an ostrich. Here we are with three female ostrich. There's also some white rhino sitting back there in the bushes as well, though. So we just finished up lunch at Tusker House. It was really good. I think the curry shrimp, the coconut curry shrimp was really good. And for dessert, <laughs> I'm simple. I like the glazed donut holes. <laughs> and Ian liked the seven layer bar. Oh, and the banana bread pudding. Oh, the banana bread pudding was really good, actually. I liked that a lot, too. It was, it, it was a little loud in there. It's definitely good, great for kids. There's um, the characters that come around. The servers will make sure that you get to see each one. So they'll tell you if when a good time to get up and get food is, and if someone's gonna be there within the next five minutes, they'll tell you to like hang on to the characters. Um, so they really care about whether or not you get your opportunity to meet them if you if that's important to you. But, um, but it was delicious. We've had breakfast there before and we really liked breakfast too. So I would probably go back again. Um, I think that it would be a lot of fun with kids too. They have a little celebration um, point where all the characters get all the kids together and they um, do like a little march around the restaurant, which was really cute. And um, now we're headed back toward Asia. We're gonna go on Expedition Everest with a fast pass. And I'm gonna stop by Dinosaur again because our photo pass never uploaded. Mr. Kamal's. Definitely want to stop by there later. They had our favorite little snack there, but they've changed the french fries so that they don't have the same toppings to them. But now they offer a, a few dipping sauces instead. So I want to try it out eventually. But right now I can't even think about food. <laughs> monkey! 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 <laughs> Everyone's yelling, monkey! Oh my gosh, look at them go. Wow. <laughs> Recording, Mama! You remember to keep it, I'll give it a
We are literally stuck on Everest at, on the climb. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Thank god. That was not a good feeling. I was actually a little terrified. Scariest ride ever! Oh no! What's gonna happen now? What could possibly happen now? terrifying but only because we got stuck <laughs> on the incline but we love that ride so much we're gonna go on again it says it's only a 25 minute wait so we're gonna we're gonna risk it and uh, we don't have anything else planned until dinner anyway so might as well We did Everest two times in a row, so I had a short wait, and so much fun. I think it's my favorite ride, but the um, the, the shadow of the Yeti didn't show up the second ride, yeah. which was weird. He was on a break. He, yeah, he took a break, but um, that was a lot of fun, and I want to go back again, and again, and again. We love coming up with ideas for the photo pass for Expedition Everest because we know exactly where it is. Oh uh, well, Ian knows where all the fast passes are, or not fast passes, photo passes are. That's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good lady too. <laughs> time for a bit of caffeine. It's the perfect time of day for it. Yeah. It's hot. First, we've had a couple big yawns, so we are going to have some coffee from Joffrey's. We got the Lion's Latte, which is white chocolate and coconut. That's yummy. Ooh, that's really good. We love eating at Joffrey's, or not eating, but having coffees at Joffrey's because we can get Starbucks at home, but we're not from here, so Joffrey's is kind of a treat for us, and I love the taste of their coffee. I think. I'm not, I mean, I like, I like Starbucks, but I feel like I like Joffrey's a lot better, but it might be just be because it's at Disney World. Now that we have our coffees, it's a good time for the jungle trek. So we can sip our coffees and kind of walk at our leisure and check out all the animals. And then we'll probably do Gorilla Falls for the same reasons. Taking a nap. That's what I want to do. It's interesting. I think I spot those bushes that line the area. Those look like they might be electric. They have wires running into the ground. And I think those little things that are coming up from them must be like electrified. So if any of the animals come close, it must give them a little shock. But it's pretty cool. Yeah. You wouldn't think about it unless you were really looking.
just got finished up with our trails and we didn't get to see any of the gorillas so we might come back another day try to catch the gorillas because that's my favorite part but we did get to see a lot of cool birds and some other monkeys and the hippo the hippo was cool but no gorilla this time around I love this spirit jersey, Akuna Matata. I love this shirt. I don't know. I think I need it. It's so soft in this necklace. Get Yeti, because here I come. All dolled up and Yeti to go. Had to have it. It is still so impressive during the day, but I definitely prefer it at nighttime. How about you? Prefer it at night? Yeah. Yeah. Plus it's a little cooler. <laughs> Not so tired from the heat. But it's still so neat. Oh, I guess she was right. My, my straw doesn't quite fit the boba ball, but that's okay. I'm not a big fan of the boba Not a big fan of the boba balls, anyway. figured might as well, but that also puts me not really at a time crunch. I mean, we still have 45 minutes to get to our reservation. Oh, no. Oh, that's actually more like 35 minutes to get to our reservation at Sana'a, but um, that's my own fault. I do this to myself every single time. We're always rushing <laughs> to our dinner reservation. I've never been to Sana'a before, so I really have no idea how long this is going to take for me to find. I'm sure it'll be fine. Me and Ian are still full from lunch, so maybe this little journey will work up an appetite. I like the river journey. I don't think it's I don't think it's like worth waiting an hour for, but for you know 20 or 30 minutes even I would wait for it. This time it was we were on and off in less than 15. It's nice and relaxing. It's nice and cool inside. We get to sit, which is nice. And then we'll be back when it is dark and Pandora's all lit up. And we made it to Kanani Village. It was really funny because we were running to the bus because it was there and people were boarding as we were approaching it. So we're kind of jogging to the bus and the, the bus driver um, started to <laughs> close the doors and waved goodbye to us as a joke. But um, but Ian, I think, thought he was serious. I was cracking up when I saw it, but I wish I could, could have seen the look on Ian's face when the doors closed and the guy was waving goodbye. Um, so we have 
about 15 minutes to spare until our reservation, but we still don't really know where we're going. So it was hopefully, on. oh, you got it on the map. He looked at a map. Wow, a, a, a male looked at a map. The first time ever. I love maps. Ian loves maps. So yeah, we actually made it in really good time. Uh, I don't, I don't think that it would have been the same story if the bus hadn't literally been waiting there for us, so. Wow. Um, restaurant? This way? Wow. Look at goals. Seriously. Restaurant it says level one. No, we're on level two, as indicated. Oh, hello. Oh, it's on there. That's where we're headed. Oh, I'm so excited. This place is so nice. Oh, here we are. Oh, look. There's windows to go outside everywhere. Oh, look at this. Can you imagine? I want to stay here so bad. It is 5.02 and we are checked in for dinner. So now we're going to be outside looking at all the animals. I want to stay here so bad. Someday. Maybe even just for a night. see a giraffe in the distance there eating from like a, a feeding pail and there's a couple other looks like what are those in the middle wildebeests I should have listened better during the safari because I would have known all the names oh wait they have the names right here That's annoying. <laughs> yep. This is where I belong. I belong at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's okay. This is so nice. If we stayed at a deluxe resort, we would have to like make sure that um, we spent time like at the resort too, yeah. instead of just running around. I mean, even this time, I feel like, well, we've only had one day where we've gone in the pool, but that's more, more, than, <laughs> more, we've more than we've ever done because we usually are out of the resort and at the parks. The giraffe's on the move. There's the giraffe on the move. If we stayed in one of those rooms, we could wake up to a giraffe outside our window. All right, Ian's got a Tusker Lager. Got a mango margarita, and we've got the bread service here. All right, I'm going with the spiciest first. Ian went with the less spicy. Yeah, like what used to be on Kamal's fries. Yeah, yeah. This is where it went. Mhm. Mm mmm. -hmm. What's that one? That's the spice. I don't remember what it's called, but is it good? it's spicy. It's definitely spicy. <laughs> and now I need water. Ooh, that's a lot. That's too much. Put some more bread with that. <laughs> uh, I think that much bread? <laughs> what do you think? Spicy. I'm gonna go for the next. It was definitely worth experiencing. The I only really like the main bread that came out. Um, the other two pitas that I wasn't a big fan of. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That is so funny. 
So what was your meal called again? It's uh, Hochi, Hochi and Spider, I think it's like P-O-T-J-I-E. And you got to choose? Um, a couple different meats and a veggie. Oh yeah, and then it came with the rice. Yeah. Mine was lamb <laughs> with peach and goat cheese and I'll have to post the name of it after because I forget. Coconut rice pudding. Coconut rice pudding for the hubby. And I got the coffee dessert. <laughs> I can't remember. <gasps> Look at that guy running. <laughs> oh, look at the little bunny. Oh, wow. So we just got finished up at Sana and I'm uncomfortably full. I shouldn't have eaten that much. I we got the bread service. And I think it was good for like a one-time thing. I know everyone's like crazy about it. I don't like that many flavors in my belly. And so halfway through dinner, I was feeling a little sick from it. But um, I think, you know, I, I think it was worth trying the bread service. Um, and they were, it was really good. It's just too much for me. And then I had the lamb and I ordered it on his recommendation, medium rare, so it was a little bit more tender, but it was still super chewy. And um, I liked it when I mixed it with the greens, because whatever was mixed with the greens was really good. But the lamb itself, I didn't think had a lot of flavor to it. So I don't know. I wasn't too super thrilled with it but I'm also like I said just simple flavors for me um, it was worth trying um, glad we had the experience I love Animal Kingdom Lodge I really want to stay here mm. sometime but only if we have the Savannah view which is super expensive and we're never gonna be able to afford <laughs> but maybe for a night but it was it's so nice here Ian had the po um, pochi, pochi? Yeah, it was either pochi or pochi inspired meal. It was a combination of, uh, on his recommendation, it was the, the seafood one, which was like a fish and shrimp. Mm -hmm. it was, um, he said it was a mild spice. I didn't really taste any spice at all, but it was really good. Yeah, um, and the, I really liked your, he got the second one, the second meat was braised beef, and I, I thought that was really good. It, was, it had an interesting flavor to it, but it was very tender and um, easy to eat. Where mine, I was like, I felt like I was chewing an awful lot. I, I was cutting mine up into like small pieces and I was spent a lot of time chewing. Um, oh yeah, and you had the coconut curry, right? Um, it was um, stew. No, it was a uh, coconut cilantro. And cilantro vegetables, but it was it wasn't that great. I mean, it was yeah. it was kind of like it was kind of soupy, and the veggies were, um, you know. I'm not big on like super soft veggies. Like I'd rather have them be like crispier. Yeah. Like they're supposed to be. And you had the and um, rice. rice pudding, and I had the coffee, whatever the coffee dessert was, and mine was too chocolatey. That might be our bus. Yeah. It's our bus. Too much chocolate for me. I. I'm not a big fan of chocolate though. So if someone else wanted liked chocolate and coffee together, they would probably like that dessert. But um. It was too much, too too rich for me. Ian's was tasty, but I was too full to even have a bite of his. But overall, it was nice to try out. I don't. It wasn't my favorite place to eat, and I know that's against popular opinion. Back at my favorite park, we're gonna do flight of passage, check out Pandora at night, and then watch Rivers of Light. I've heard it. They've modified it since the last time we've seen it, so be a little bit new. One thing that I've noticed about Animal Kingdom that has been a lot different than the other parks is that not every toilet flushes on me as I'm using it. 
they're a lot more forgiving at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> No word of a lie. The moment I compliment the Animal Kingdom bathrooms, this last one, as soon as I put the liner down, it flushed and took my liner with it. There's no more frustrating thing than putting the toilet paper down, the liner, and having it flush it down, and then you have to re-paper it. So frustrating. And the moment, the moment after I said how happy I was with these bathrooms. Once you found yeah. your number, please make sure everybody can see the screen. Can you see the screen? Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. How'd you like it, Ian? That's good. Yes, yeah. we've been on it a few times. It doesn't really get old, um, but the single writer next to me, you could tell it was his first time on it. It was really cool to hear because he was like really pleased with it, you could tell. <laughs> we've wasted enough time in there that the park is, yeah, the park is uh, set up for nighttime. So let's take a look. the Tree of Life Awakenings and we're going to be headed towards the Rivers of Light staging area so, or seating area so that we can get a spot for the last show and then we'll be going home or going back to our home I mean <laughs> I can't stop saying what I mean home. to say is we're going back to our house <laughs> what I mean to say is we're going to go back to the hotel and uh, get ready for tomorrow, uh, well, get set up for su success, for a successful morning, um, so we can get to Universal. I can't express enough how happy I am that Animal Kingdom stays open late now, because to think like this just a few years ago, they didn't do any of this. Like, didn't have a night show, didn't have lights up. We just grabbed a bus to Art of Animation again. Kind of liking the whole option of having either the Art of Animation or the Pop Century bus because we we're approaching the bus stop area um, at Animal Kingdom and Art of Animation was there so we just hopped on it and Pop Century, by the time everyone was loaded they were still waiting and the line was getting long. So that's pretty convenient. Uh, I think the last few things of the night were we grabbed a uh, last minute ride on Expedition Everest. That was really cool to see, to do at night time. I don't know if I've ever well, done that one at night before. <laughs> they, um, but it was really neat to see the park and, and everything from up there. And then after that, we caught the last showing of Rivers of Light, the new, the newer version of it. And even though a lot of people don't like that show, I, I almost find it therapeutic. You get to mm. 
I get to like, you know, see all the colors and I like the music and all the images of the animals and stuff. I don't know. I've always, I liked, I liked it for, since the first time we saw it. I know it gets a lot of crit criticism because I don't think it's like the caliber show that everyone expects from Disney or whatever, but I really enjoy it. I'm gonna get ready for our day tomorrow at Universal and we're also doing Halloween Horror Nights. So if you're interested in that, tune in for the next video because I'm going to be uh, recording that as well. If you're interested in seeing the Halloween Horror Nights and Universal tomorrow, including Hagrid's. We're getting on Hagrid's no matter what. We're waiting in line. We're doing everything we can. If it's delayed, we'll wait in the area. I don't care about anything else tomorrow. I need to get on Hagrid's or I'll just die. I don't know, oh, we almost forgot our favorite thing of the day. Ian, would you like to go first? What? I hadn't thought about that yet. Put me on the spot. All right, I'll go. Um, I think I liked going on Everest three times in one day. I don't know which one I like more, Everest or Flight of Passage. I really enjoy Everest. I really do. I don't know. I think that's it. I think that it was riding Everest, being able to ride it for three, three times. What about you? I think going through Pandora at night is one of my faves. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty simple day today. Yeah. So pretty simple faves for a pretty simple day. Oh, I feel so good in here. All right. Made it back to the room. Universal tomorrow, so we are going to pack our bags now and make sure that we have a good start to the day. See you then.